changes that impact and affect our world, global warming, climate change, environmental pollution and degradation, desert encroachment and flooding are daily destroying our world and making it unsafe for habitation. How do we cope with these changes? How do we improve the quality of life through our environment? These and many more environment issues will occupy us weekly on Environment Today. It's imperative that people comply with laid down environmental laws if we must enjoy the benefits of a clean and healthy environment. But there are certain habits which are outrightly unfriendly to the environment. Join Nkoli Omudu on Africa Independent Television AIT as we take an incisive and in-depth look at our environment. Environment Today, creating a better and safe environment for the world. Welcome back. Environment experts are seeking ways of preventing the littering of plastic materials on the environment and their buildup in landfills due to the threat they pose to marine species and environmental sustainability. At a gathering in Lagos to create awareness on the dangers of plastic pollution, the experts said that out of 500 billion uh, plastic bags produced and used around the world each year, 13 million tons end up in oceans, destroying aquatic lives. They are therefore advocating recycling and reuse of plastic materials to save the environment. And these beautiful dresses you are seeing here are all made from plastic. And I call those who have made these creatively magic fingers, uh, green fingers, because they are thinking green and thinking how not to pollute the environment, but reuse plastics. Now, no doubt it may have been a very painstaking experience, but it all goes to show how creatively plastics can be reused instead of allowing them to litter the environment, strangle aquatic animals, and also block our drainage channels, causing flooding in Lagos and indeed Nigeria. My dresses are made out of shredded cups as you can see. Um, the cups were cut and then we used to just cut, sort of like curl it and then we attached it to the, ma the material of the dress and then this as you can see here is the under the bottom of the cups. Um, we cut it out from the cups and pasted it on the dresses and these are also shredded cups. Um, this event is about awareness mainly. Um, trying to make become the environment better because plastic is a serious problem nowadays and we're trying to make the environment better. That's the main um, goal of the event. So how did you go about making this? Was it that easy? Well, it took a few days. It took about three days to make this dress. And it took help from seniors, juniors and teachers too. Did you make it? Yes, but with some help from teachers. So how did you feel making it and what does it make you feel like? Um, creative. Creative. It makes me really feel creative. This occasion is to show people how we can reuse plastic and how to stop um, all the damages we are causing to the aquatic animals and also to ourselves. While plastics are extremely useful for a variety of purposes, their chemical component renders them difficult to decompose when discarded in the environment. More so, there are no waste collection and recycling systems in many African countries to convert used plastics to other useful products. For a plastic bottle, it takes about 450 years for it to disintegrate. And just imagine that number of years. And when it breaks down, it breaks down into smaller micro beads that are being taken up by fishes. And they contain a lot of toxins, a lot of poisonous substances that after these fishes eat them, we end up eating the fishes. And you see, it's, so the plastic is actually getting into our food chain. And it's constituting a lot of problem for the environment, even for us. There are a lot of diseases coming up now. We don't know where these things are from. But all this plastic that we are polluting, throwing into the ocean, that's what basically it's all about. That is how it's constituted a nuisance to the environment. Tagged Beat Plastic Pollution, this gathering is aimed at creating awareness on the dangers posed by plastics to the environment and also urge government, industries, communities and individuals to explore sustainable alternatives to single-use plastics. Plastic has been one of the major causes of loss of wildlife um, species, a lot of wildlife species in the oceans and doesn't con um, constitute an eyesore on land. So we are advocating that people should stop plastic pollution because it's a serious problem to a lot of wildlife 
that is around, that all the wildlife that is around us. Now, plastic in the ocean is a major nuisance. And what the students have done, they have collected, they've done a lot of beach cleanups, and they've saw, they've seen that it's, yes, in Nigeria we're not able to throw these plastics away. We're not able to recycle them and use them for something. So what we did, we did what we call upcycling. We we're able to convert this plastic into usable um, or beauty um, artificial art, artifacts and put them on display for people to appreciate and people to see. You can see plastic used as decoration. That is what we're talking about. That's what we're all about. At the United Nations General Assembly in Nairobi in 2017, over 200 nations signed a resolution to eliminate plastic pollution in the seas, reaffirming the UN Sustainable Development Goal 14, which seeks to conserve and sustainably use the oceans, seas and marine resources for sustainable development.